Yellowstone officials announced the magma is increasing. A catastrophic explosive eruption. Yellowstone National Park is home to a ticking time bomb. The Yellowstone Caldera. This caldera is one of the world's most dangerous active supervolcanoes, capable of catastrophic eruption with a magnitude of 8, making it a terrifying prospect. Recently, Yellowstone officials announced that the magma beneath the caldera is increasing, which could lead to a catastrophic explosive eruption. This announcement comes after scientists detected a rare gas, helium-4, which has been locked away deep within the Earth's crust for billions of years, providing a key indicator of the supervolcano's impending eruption. In today's video, we'll explore the terrifying truth behind the helium-4 gas and the Yellowstone supervolcano. We'll examine the latest developments and what this means for the future of the park and the surrounding areas. But before moving ahead, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. The Yellowstone caldera has been closely monitored by scientists for decades, and the looming threat of a supervolcano eruption has been a subject of scientific curiosity. However, recent discoveries have left experts on edge. Scientists have detected a rare gas locked away deep within the Earth's crust for billions of years, helium-4. This gas is a key indicator of the supervolcano's impending eruption. Helium-4 is present in Yellowstone's hydrothermal features, but the fact that it's spewing out of volcanic rocks is a troubling sign that cannot be ignored. According to research conducted by scientists from the United States Geological Survey, Yellowstone National Park's gas emanates from deep within rocks that have been sequestered for hundreds of millions of years. This astonishing discovery sheds new light on the rare occurrence of helium in the park. Even though helium is the second most abundant element in the entire universe, on Earth, helium mainly occurs as helium-4, which is produced throughout the decay of heavy elements such as uranium. Helium-3, on the other hand, is relatively rare and has been present on Earth since the planet's formation. The proportion of helium-3 to helium-4 varies, and scientists can utilize that ratio to determine the source of any helium they come across. The high concentration of helium-3 in Yellowstone's hydrothermal system is a strong indication that the Yellowstone hotspot originates deep within the mantle and has a direct path to the surface. Scientists have found that the journey of helium-4 to the surface of Yellowstone is much more complicated than previously thought. For a decade, researchers from the United States Geological Survey collected gas samples from Yellowstone and its surrounding areas. While analyzing the isotopic composition of helium, carbon dioxide, and other gases in those samples, their findings revealed that the amount of helium-4 emanating from Yellowstone is significantly higher than expected in other regions. Most of it is likely hundreds of millions or even billions of years old. Based on their calculations and analysis, the scientists concluded that this gas originates from rocks within an ancient crust buried in the area, formed over 2.5 billion years ago, and contains uranium and other radioactive materials decaying over time. It is believed that the Yellowstone hotspot cut through this ancient crust approximately 2 million years ago, releasing helium-4 stored in the rocks and helium-3 from the mantle. This latest discovery at Yellowstone might pique the interest of park goers, but for scientists, it's more than just intriguing, it's downright concerning. Helium and other noble gases are critical in assessing groundwater sources. The more helium-4 is present in water, the longer the water has been sitting in its surrounding rocks. However, this new research on helium at Yellowstone suggests that some of these assumptions, particularly when it comes to helium-4, produced by the steady decay of elements found in local aquifers, aren't exactly accurate. Helium-4 is a critical gas for many industrial and medical applications, but it's also a valuable tool in geology and earth science. In the case of Yellowstone, the presence of helium-4 gas is a warning sign that the supervolcano beneath the park is becoming increasingly active. Scientists believe the rising magma could lead to a catastrophic eruption with global consequences. The last time Yellowstone erupted 
was over 600,000 years ago, and the scientists estimate that it's due for another major eruption soon. The potential impact of such an event would be devastating, with the ash and debris reaching far beyond the park's boundaries, potentially disrupting air travel and causing significant damage to infrastructure. Despite the dangers that Yellowstone Caldera poses, scientists continue to closely monitor the area for any signs of activity. They use gas readings, seismology, and satellite pictures, among other things, to keep track of the volcano's activity. The goal is to give as much notice as possible before an eruption so that plans can be made and people can leave in time. The Yellowstone caldera had three huge explosions in the last 2.1 million years. Each explosion was 1,000 times stronger than the Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980. Approximately 640,000 years ago, the most recent eruption shot out 240 cubic miles of volcanic debris and rock. This made a 45-mile-long and 30-mile-wide caldera. The erupting volcano was so strong that it caused a volcanic winter, which dropped worldwide temperatures by up to 18 degrees Fahrenheit and killed off many big animals, such as the saber-toothed cat, the woolly mammoth, and the giant ground sloth. Even though the probability of a big explosion happening in the near future is low, the possible effects are bad. Researchers say that if Yellowstone's supervolcano erupted, it could send out up to 2,500 times more material than Mount St. Helens did in 1980. This would cause a lot of damage and could start a volcanic winter that could last for years. This is why it's so important to keep an eye on the Yellowstone caldera and learn more about how it works. Experts have also been looking into the chance of a volcanic eruption on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands. This is because Caldera has been getting more active. The Cumbre Vieja is an enormous volcanic crater on La Palma that last exploded in 1971. Researchers think that an upcoming eruption might trigger a huge landslide that would set off a mega tsunami that could hit the eastern coast of the US as well as various regions around the globe. Also, scientists have been looking into the chance that the Long Valley Caldera in California could erupt as a supervolcano. The Long Valley Caldera is a big volcanic crater in eastern California. It is one of the most earthquake-prone places in the U.S. Specialists have found that the amount of carbon dioxide in the region is going up, which means that the magma below the surface is getting more active. So, the recent finding of helium-4 gas is a sign that an eruption could be coming soon. Experts are working hard to keep track of the volcano's activity and give early signs. But a catastrophic eruption could have huge effects. It's a frightening reminder of how powerful nature is and how important it is to understand and respect the forces at work below our feet. As we keep looking into and learning more about the Earth's environment, let's also do what we can to protect and keep the natural wonders around us. Thank you for watching today's video about the Yellowstone supervolcano and the scary truth about helium-4 gas. If you learned something from this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to see more useful videos. Furthermore, if you're thinking about a trip to Yellowstone National Park, ensure that you know what's currently going on and what safety steps park officials are taking. It's essential to always be ready for the unpredictable and obey all park rules and regulations. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.